from their handy tools to get into buildings. Please, Please, sir, sir, please. please. To the gear they have to protect themselves and take down targets. Join me as I show you the top 10 tools used by police. Number 10, bulletproof origami. During a hostile situation. We met with federal agents that often use current shields and asked what could help them to better do their job. In the field, there are a few things that you absolutely need in order to minimize casualties of any kind among officers. One of the biggest things is protection from both sight and from bullets. The classic trope is for officers to hide behind their car doors, but they aren't bulletproof and thus help only in minor ways. That's why the device known as bulletproof origami is such an important tool. This is a foldable shield that officers can deploy in the field very quickly. Pattern, And when it deploys, it provides these nice angles, which we hope will be even more effective shape for a barrier and know that they will be safe behind it because it is indeed bulletproof. It has 12 layers of Kevlar, but just as important, when it's unfolded, it has an expansive size that can house two to three officers, thus offering more protection than your standard police shield. Number nine, Grappler Police Bumper. Without a doubt, one of the most dangerous aspects of police work is the notion of a high-speed chase. While it's been glamorized in things like the Fast and Furious franchise, these are a real threat, and they can cause a lot of problems for police officers. Not the least of which is that in pedestrian areas, there are very few ways for the police to immediately stop the perp without doing serious property damage or hurting civilians. Enter the Grappler Police Bumper. Not unlike the origami shield we just talked about, this device can be stored quite easily on the front side of the police car chasing the fleeing suspect. And then, with the push of a button, it can deploy. Once it's unwound, all the officer has to do is get close enough to go and wrap a series of threads around the back wheel. They'll wrap around the wheel in a loop and then the police car can slam on their brakes in order to slow down and eventually stop the vehicle. The method causes very little damage to the suspect car, ensuring no sudden stops or flips, thus ending the chase safely. Number eight, Cube. The world today is full of drones, and some people would say that this is a bad thing, but for the police, it's just another tool in their arsenals. One in particular that they use is called Cube. This was a drone specially made for the police so that they could help track down fleeing criminals as they move throughout the public space, such as a neighborhood. The drone only takes five minutes to set up and can last 40 minutes in the air, more than enough time to get the job done and alert the police to where the suspect is. The camera on the drone loops back to a control system and allows the officer in charge to see everything it sees. Battleskin Viper Helmet. Inside the helmet shell, the fully adjustable modular suspension system and adjustable retention system maximize comfort and stability. On the battlefield, having the best protection is paramount but you also want something that won't restrict your movements, especially when it comes to your head. Most military and police units have their own version of a helmet, but one of the best of the bunch is known as the Battleskin Viper Helmet. Of a multi-purpose front mount, rail system, three position visor, and ballistic mandible guard, all designed to fit ACH style helmets. This was made for the military, but it's in use by police too, because of how good of a helmet it is. One of the key elements of the helmet is the variability of it all. You can use it in a basic helmet format of just protecting the top of your head, or you can switch it up to protect your eyes with a visor, or even the lower jaw with a chin strap attachment. The helmet was rated for the military 
and thus can shield wearers from ballistic fire and even fragments and explosions. Number 6. Recon Scout XT On the concrete and still survive. That actually is our test wall. When you're in a situation that you don't have enough information for, you need to have a way of doing recon without getting caught. The Recon Scout XT was built for the police and the military to do just that. This little robot may not seem like much, but that's part of the illusion. It was built in a way to allow it to go just about anywhere on ground or up certain things, all without making a sound. Plus, it has an infrared light to see in the dark and a camera to allow it to showcase what it's finding to its controller. All in all, this is a useful robot to have when you need to look inside a place you can't reach yourself. Number 5. Nimbo If that kind of robot isn't your thing, then how about Nimbo? This is an autonomous robot built to help secure areas and do patrol routes. Yes, this is a robot that works on its own to survey and patrol areas so that cops don't have to. And they're actually quite advanced, including being able to distinguish life from inanimate objects and be sure to avoid them as it goes along its route. When it finds a threat, it alerts the controller and can follow the suspect for some time without losing them. As if that wasn't enough, a person can ride on Nimbo like a scooter as it goes along. Number 4. Bozena Riot System A riot is another situation where police often have trouble containing the situation, which is why the Bozena Riot System is arguably one of their best tools. This was built to be a literal wall of which special forces of police like SWAT can stand behind and use to push back or disperse the people in the riot. The wall itself is very high, so it can't be climbed, and there are even attachments you can put on the front to push away things like cars. Number 3. Mobile Spike We already touched upon high-speed chases before, but there are many ways for these chases to end quickly and efficiently. One of the best ways is through a spike strip. Mobile spike is one such strip. The device is attached to the front of the police car, and then the car will get next to the suspects and with a push of a button, deploys. The spikes take chunks out of the tire, ensuring it deflates in under a minute while avoiding a blowout, thus ending the chase. Number 2. Holmatro Door Blaster Please, Please, Please. Please. If you're familiar with crime series, you'll know that one of the most important things when searching for a suspect is being able to get inside the door. The Holmatro Door Blaster is one such tool to make sure that happens without injuries to the police. It uses pneumatic power to break open any locked door, all without making a sound, thus keeping the element of surprise. A quick and effective way to enter a home or base without raising more suspicion of your approach. And number one, taser. And snap them in. Now with the cartridges installed, you'll notice when I turn it on, I get my two red dots. Mm. The top one's blinking, That's I could make that one solid and switch it where the bottom one's blinking. Okay. You might not think that the taser is a cool gadget for the police, but it is in fact one of the most important tools they have. This is a non-lethal weapon that is used to detain and restrain uncontrollable people. The volts of the taser literally stun your body, making it so your muscles seize and you collapse on the ground. SWAT even has versions of this weapon that can launch multiple taser rods at once, thus subduing a larger crowd. In short, if these get into you, you'll be down before you can say, Don't tase me, bro! And there you go, a look at the gadget of the police force. Which of these did you like the most? Which of them were you surprised in regards to the police having access to them? 
let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.